morning everyone good Sunday morning hell I'm back out here at the range area and uh, I've got to fix the hydraulic hose on my loader see if I can get a new hose made today and while I'm out here I'm gonna restack this brush pile before I left yesterday we we had a uh, about a 35 40 mile an hour wind and uh, I went ahead and lit it on and holy crap it took right off so I'm gonna go in and restack that while I'm here maybe try to get this burn up we may be able to go ahead and cut that other range in the uh, 50 yarder in this area here where this is uh, brush piles at so other than that we're going to uh, pull that hose off run into town see if I can have one made or hopefully they'll have the fittings and uh, where I can get one made up and then we can get it put back on there and be ready to go all right let's see if we can get this boy oh boy oh boy oh boy, oh boy. I may have screwed the pooch on that I may not be able to get to that oh well I brought some wrenches so may not be able to and bring any extensions or anything maybe maybe Nice, isn't it? I'm gonna to have to replace these hard lines right here. As you can see, especially in there, I've had sticks come up through here and hit them lines. I've had them been almost all the way up in there, push them back down, but I mean right there it's Probably I have to replace them at some point. down in here to a point but I mean they could have put a bracket welded a bracket inside of here to help divert anything that's coming up to help divert I thought about welding a bracket in there myself what I'll, what I'll do is I'll screw around and wait till I bust those hard lines and Dump 15 gallon of oil all over this thing. It's not 
bet it didn't, I bet it didn't dump a cord or two. And I caught it right away. Sounds like somebody's screaming.
breaking this. I need an extra hand here, don't I? Cleared out around that fitting. I don't want to suck a bunch of dirt back into that fitting. Holy crap! Yeah, I just now noticed that other one's cracked too. In the same spot so ouch I guess I might as well go ahead and pull that one too and get them both made but that one is cracked it's completely cracked oh something oh, that I'll have to go to cat now See that? Right there. Might as well do them both. Pull them both off. Because that one's going to blow there too. Nice. Whoa. Outstanding. One is going to be bad enough. Break off. Well, we darn. I like to try to store this bucket, tilt it up, Oop, rip the glove. And the reason why I do that is um, like I said, I try to store it with the bucket tilted down like that because if you don't, with these four and ones, if you lay the bucket flat on the ground, water will pull in these four and one cylinders and especially during the winter time ice and stuff will get in there water sets right there and it wipes and it, it kills those uh deteriorates those wiper rings or wiper seals so i always try to leave a bucket tilted but i guess when i'm doing that it's creating a situation where these hoses are bent I guess I don't know. I mean, hell, there ain't much of that much of a bend. But I don't know. Maybe it's just from the constant the bucket constantly going like that that it's done it. I don't know. I'd rather replace a hose and have to repack one of them cylinders. Anyway. It is what it is. It is what it is.
they're scratching that piston rod. Gosh, got you all nasty. Yeah, I never noticed that. This cylinder needs repacked, but you can see some lines. They're not really scratches per se. You can just see like we're there's a little bit of a scratch of there. Hopefully ain't sucked a bunch of crap in there. Huh. Anyway. Well, I guess we'll move over to the left side, I guess. Pull in. So that, uh, that brush pile burned out. We'll see if we'll see if Mother Nature allows me to make it deep. It just kind of depends. Always gotta let the, always gotta let the ground dictate how deep your pond goes. This part of the country we have a hard pan, and you may hit it. You may hit it some places. Some places you may not. It just kind of depends on where you're at. You may hit it at a foot, you may hit it at three foot, four foot. Years ago when I first started, what, 15 years ago I guess? Um, never really understood that hard pan until I done a little bit of research. Basically what it is is 
is a it's a layer oftentimes I've seen it six inches oftentimes I've seen it 18 inches thick but it's just a layer in the ground that it's at some point in time many years ago it was either heat it was either heat or this extreme pressure and basically what it is is just a super compacted layer of dirt and rock and uh, it is almost like rock and uh, it is a bear to dig through um, I remember years ago when I had a backhoe, regular backhoe, rubber tire backhoe I was digging a water line, it was about 400 foot long and I got into hard pan, it was about 2 foot deep and we like to get water lines 3 foot it's probably a little, a little extreme I mean most cases Paul seen it you know I've heard guys talk about they've seen a two foot I personally never have uh, I think it kind of just depends if you get a wet soil I can see where it would freeze down like that we really don't have that unless it's a bottom area you know river bottom or creek bottom or something we really don't have that most of the time you can get it 18 inches or so, 20 inches are generally good. It's just kind of a, I don't know, kind of a standard, I guess. Everybody tries to go three foot. Just air on the side of caution. But, like I said, it's probably, probably overkill, really. But who wants to be out in the middle of winter? repairing a broken water line so everybody just kind of uses a standard three foot and uh, this is kind of what we do all right I'm gonna see if I can get this one broke loose broke loose not broke
tomorrow. Hmm. I guess I attacked that nut that's underneath there. Tacked on underneath. I guess it broke loose, I guess. That'll be fine. Chances of me getting that on there good enough. Getting that on there good enough for it to spin off there is going to be. Gotta be one turd. Can't ever be easy.
leak a bunch of oil. I'll run into town and see if they've got four fittings. Fingers crossed, I guess. We'll see. If not, it'll be a project for tomorrow. All right, the moment of truth. Is it going to work? Yeah.